Mr. Speaker, today's NDP stumbles from one conflict of interest to another. Yep. There may hope that the latest ones will blind us to the rest of them, but yeah. when Manitobans are constantly reminded in daily transactions, with our now privatized property registry, that's hardly likely. Since the bid-free, sole-sourced sale of our property registry to Ternet, costs to register property have increased some more than doubling, yep. costing home buyers even more. How does the Premier explain that a doubling of fees in the last two years is appropriate? And why does so much that the Premier touches result in increased costs to Manitoba? Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm very pleased that real estate sales are doing very well in Manitoba. It's a strong indicator of the strength of our economy. Uh, in other parts of the country, we're seeing a dip in real estate sales. In Manitoba, they've remained consistently strong. At the same time, real estate has remained in relative terms affordable, even though there's more pressure in that area, Mr. Speaker. We're building a record number of homes in the uh, private sector. We've uh, seen tremendous expansion, even though it's leveled off, but still at a high level. We're building more in the uh, social sector, Mr. Speaker, all across the province of Manitoba. More people are choosing to live in Manitoba, Mr. Speaker, and when people want to live in Manitoba, they want good housing, and we're out there providing it. We actually have a tax credit, Mr. Speaker, for a building pro uh, rental apartments in Manitoba, Mr. Speaker, and we're seeing a lot of multifamily units being built, and that's what we want to see, more housing for more people to live in Manitoba, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and the costs go up. Uh, in March 2014, the Auditor General reported that the government's committee, which evaluated the proposed privatization of our property registry to Terranet, was composed of three people, two of whom were married to one another. It was also reported that one of these two individuals had a previous tie to Terranet. Mr. Speaker, why did today's NDP government allow such a conflict of interest no to occur kidding. on a committee which was deciding to bind this province for 30 years to the privatization of our property registry? Mr. Speaker, uh, I think the member has correctly identified it as a lease for all the uh, personal and private information was protected in the public sector with the commissioner to look after that. If he has a specific allegation to make, uh, I wish he would bring it forward so it could be properly reviewed, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but I look forward to further information on that. The reality was that it was a lease with a, public, with a privacy commissioner overlooking the uh, information that's uh, in the registry to make sure that the public interest and the interests of the citizens of Manitoba are protected, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Auditor General investigated and said it was a conflict of interest to have two of three people on a committee uh, be married. Uh, there's clearly an overlap in interest. Manitobans are very concerned yes. when members of today's NDP government get involved in very large sole source transactions, as we saw with STARS and the 30-year contract for the privatization of our property registry. Today's NDP let an obvious conflict of interest persist, and now the prices being charged for property registration have gone up as the material I table shows. The lack of due diligence by today's NDP government is siphoning the wallets of Manitobans. What changes will the Premier be making to assure, ensure that committees don't have conflict of interest like this from now on? Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, again, uh, we will uh, take any concerns the member has uh, very seriously. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I note that the, the fees have gone from $15 to $16 two years later and $23 a year, a year after that, Mr. Speaker, uh, I suspect that those fees are competitive for the services offered and will continue to be offered. And the other thing I think that's, uh, the other thing that I think is happening, Mr. Speaker, is, is we're seeing more of these services available online to make transactions easier for the people that are uh, dealing with these matters, Mr. Speaker, in terms of registry. Usually, in most cases, it's lawyers that are handling these transactions on behalf of their clients, and they are now able to conclude those transactions in a more timely fashion, Mr. Speaker. But if there's any specific concerns that any uh, agency or any officer of this legislature has, I'm sure they will be followed up, and we will undertake to uh, do that, Mr. Speaker.